forecast. Welcome back to East Texas Live. Carson, I was freezing this weekend, but now you're promising uh -huh. some nice weather, so I'm excited about that. Uh, yes, I mean, for the next couple of days, and okay. then it's downhill again. <laughs> okay. Cold front season. <laughs> Have some time to prepare. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I mean, get outside and enjoy it today because the weather will change. It always does for any part of the country. And we've got lots of sunshine in the area right now. Just look at these bluebird skies. I just love it. Well, we got those blue skies out there because it typically means it's dry and and we are seeing nice and warm temperatures today. We're already at 53 at the East Texas Regional Airport. Dew point is at 29, so it is dry and winds are calm, which means, yeah, we don't see any wind out there, and that is verifiable there by the clouds in the background. Let's go ahead and chat about numbers around the region. And from a temperature standpoint, we are doing A-OK. -okay. Low to middle 50s, middle to upper 50s for some locations. It is 57 in Henderson, 56 in Lufkin, and we are at 56 right now in Nacogdoches. We hit 64 today, plenty of sunshine around, and it will remain mild. And then as we head into tonight, we are going to see a couple of clouds here and there, but I do think our temperatures will fall only into the lower 40s. For example, we were in the 20s and 30s this morning, so we should slowly begin the warming trend as we head into tomorrow morning. And here's future cast noon time today. We're generally just dealing with 50s. Now notice the arrows on the screen, which indicates wind speed. Of course, they're not moving at all. It's going to be calm. It's going to be nice and guys get outside and enjoy. Don't play video games. Don't look on your computer. Spend some time outdoors at some point today. It's good for you. I'm not a doctor. I'm a meteorologist, but I can tell you it's good for you when you soak up that sun in the wise words of Cheryl Crow. You won't be able to by seven o'clock because temperatures will fall into the 40s and it will be dark by then. And then as we head into your Tuesday morning or tomorrow morning, we will start to see those clouds filter back in to the area again. Not everybody. Most of us won't be seeing the cloud cover, but our southwestern counties will. And that is because those winds out of the south, they will start to increase, bringing in that Gulf moisture. And as a result of that Gulf moisture, we're going to see warmer temperatures as well. Into the 70s by 3 o'clock. And then as we roll into your Wednesday, this is 7, temperatures will be in the 50s and 60s by then. And then the front, it rolls through. That drops our temperatures. And rain chances Wednesday by the middle part of the day, I've got it paused at 10. They will be increasing, especially right here in deep east Texas. Now, this is a little worrisome. If we have enough moisture to work with, that would pose a thunderstorm threat for deep east Texas. But again, not currently in the forecast. However, that could very well change. And it would be nice to get some rain because we're really not seeing much of anything over the next 6 to 10 days, which is this weekend and early next week. You can see limited rain chances. They're shaded in the tan and orange. Well, highs probably going to be in the 40s and 50s because we are in cold front season, which means those are typical highs for this time of year, especially after that cold front on Wednesday clears the area. 40s Thursday and Friday, so it's chilly. Bundle up Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I'm going to make my bowl of chili on Thursday just to get me through the weekend because it will be quite chilly. For the latest weather forecast, you can head on over to KETK.com.